Hello and welcome to NFV 101, The Basics of Network Functions Virtualization, a course by Cable Labs. A little bit about myself, I am Amar Kapadia and I will be your instructor for this virtual course. I am an NFV specialist with a background in various technologies ranging from ONAP, OPNFV, OpenStack, Kubernetes, Ceph, and Data Plane Acceleration Technologies. I'm an author of two books, ONAV Demystified and Understanding OPNFE, and I'm also the co-creator of Linux Foundation courses on ONAP and OPNFE. In terms of course objectives, we are going to understand NFV and its key topics. We will take a look at the industry landscape. We'll be able to articulate cable-specific applications and use cases. Next, we'll understand what Cable Labs is doing in the area of NFV. And finally, we'll look at some future trends. The audience is expected to be fairly diverse. Operations engineers, operations managers, network designers, product managers, project managers, and vendors who might just be looking for an overview of what NFV is and what are some of the key use cases. In the next three, three and a half hours, we'll go through a variety of topics organized in seven chapters. In chapter one, we'll look at NFV basics, followed by key NFV requirements. Chapter three, we will look at NFV use cases. Next, industry landscape. Then we'll look at a subset of open source NFV projects. Chapter six, we'll look at what Cable Labs is doing in the area of NFV, and we'll finish by looking at some future trends. Next, we have four slides that cover key terminologies. As with any technical field, NFV is filled with jargon, abbreviations, and technical terminologies. So I'm not going to go through these slides. These slides are meant to be a resource. You can refer back to them at any time as we progress through subsequent chapters, and you can come back and look up what a term means in sort of simple to understand language. The terminologies are organized in four slides. This slide covers architecture. And I'm again just going to flash these slides up for a few seconds and uh, let you come back to them at leisure. Next we have terminologies related to software. This slide covers terminologies related to use cases. And this final terminology slide talks about standards and open source. Before we jump in, one final comment. We love, we'd love to hear from you in terms of questions and feedback. So please don't hesitate to get in touch with us.